Hey, I'm Bobby, one of the co-founders of Hyperscale, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how our platform works. We used to have a wait list for this platform, but now you can actually just get started on your own. If you go to our website, gethyperscale.com, all you have to do is click get started or start free trial, and it will lead you straight into the platform. We started building Hyperscale when we realized we we're paying for all these different tools for our outreach, except they were really expensive and there were a lot of features we weren't using. So we thought to ourselves, what would happen if we took the best features from all the tools that we like, combined it all into one really effective platform for outreach? So here's how Hyperscale works. First, it's about finding the right people, finding the verified contact details, finding really good information about them so that we can personalize really effective messages. First, we start with finding qualified leads and finding verified contact details. Let's say I want to find AI sector people. I want to exclude an HR or the interns or, or the marketing. And I want to find either CEO or director of business development. Now let's say I want to target San Francisco. Just to start, we'll find 10 people. We can go as high as a thousand, a few thousand. What we're doing behind the scenes when I click start search is we're actually going to all the major platforms and we're finding and validating their email contact details. We're then cross-referencing all of them and looking at which ones are the most valid because a lot of platforms actually guess their emails. So they'll just guess like, oh, it's first name or last name X company or their domain. What we're doing is finding the, the match between all the sources out there. And then we're going to a third party and verifying and validating those email addresses. Instead of using one source and they say it's validated, we're actually going to an independent data validation company to validate whether or not these are good contact details. Now, once that's sorted is we're actually going across the internet to find what are the most useful public information about them. So this might be their hobbies papers that are written about them, articles written about them, what their interests might be, you know, how they self-describe themselves on social media. And so we go through all that because we want to see, oh, these are the things that matter to this person or what matters beyond just their job title and their company. And this is really powerful because now the AI can take all these bits of information and personalize a handwritten message to them instead of just saying, hi, first name, I see your CEO at X company. And it's even more embarrassing when you write something like, Hi, first name, comma, MBA. And then you look like you're an obvious spammer who literally just used a bot to message them. We'll find contact details. We'll get, get a bunch of information about them, their social media URLs, and how to self-describe themselves. And behind the scenes, we'll also have a lot of other data points uh, that we don't show because there's just simply too many columns here. Now this search is finished, and this is just to show you who we found so far in our most recent search. We've got these AI companies in San Francisco. Let's, let's, let's go to uh, start a template. Now, we call this a template, but in actuality, it's just some instruction sets for AI to work with. And what this does is it takes all these bits of information or things that you want to include in every single message. And you call this hyperscale for automating sales. You can make this whatever you want. So I'm just going to copy and paste my website onto here. And let's just say I want to copy this just a few basic lines about what uh, the company does. And this is all the AI needs for it to really just personalize a message to each person. Now, that's one way of doing it. The second way you can do it is just literally say, hey, this is my company. I'll paste this in again. And then you can say, try it out at... No, you don't have to use this. This is for people who are really stuck on email copy. I don't know what to write. Now, next thing I want to do is actually create a campaign. And we'll call this, and then you can add a BCC here, which is your, you know, your HubSpot CRM, or if you have a special inbox for where all, all of your emails get tracked, um, you can put them here as well. Just, so you want to find the 10 people that we just found, and we want to start personalizing every single message that goes out. Now, what, what's doing now is just going to generate messages in the back. We use the latest AI models that are out there, including GPT-40. And the emails actually get better over time as we check what emails are being read and which ones get the best responses for you. So here you want to set your daily limit. Um, I recommend starting with 20 and you can go up to 100. Um, if you go over 100, Google or Outlook might start flagging you as a spammer. So you want to be a little bit tame with how many you add there. You could do Monday through Friday or you can even go 
basically any day of the week you want. But this is just kind of the standard cookie cutter that you want to start with. And you can pick your time zone. None of these campaigns will activate until you actually manually click activate. And we make sure no emails get sent until you've reviewed the contents of the emails themselves. So this way you have full editorial control of what actually goes out. Every single email here is going to be essentially handwritten. It's going to take whatever we have about that person and craft whatever our pitch is to that person's background. So you're never going to get an email that's like, hi, first name at X company. And there's two aspects that are really powerful with this. One that looks handwritten, so it means people are going to respond to your emails when they realize you put a lot of effort into writing these emails. The second part is when you send emails that look almost the same and send them you know, in bulk, uh, send hundreds of them, um, the email providers will start flagging this as an email campaign and mark you as a spammer, and you end up in the spam inbox, and then you basically never you know, surface to the user ever again, or to the uh, recipient. So that's what we're going to start with here. And then when I click Activate Campaign, it's going to send. You can connect all your emails as well. You can connect multiple inboxes, and then you can finally uh, get a, a free trial through uh, the subscription page. If you ever get lost, you can go on the documentation page. And if you want to share Hyperscale with other people, you can also earn 20% of a referral bonus for every single user that signs up. If you have any questions, you can reach me on Slack, WhatsApp, iMessage. I'm pretty reachable, and I want to make sure that you have a really successful time using this tool. Thanks.